Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to uh, discuss about how to read BigQuery data using Python. Okay, so we have the query editor in BigQuery UI and uh, you will be doing all these queries. It's all fine, but how to do this with Python, right? So you are writing some job or you are doing some ETL. So we need some kind of an interaction with our code, right? Java with BigQuery or Python with BigQuery, some sort of thing we have to do, right? So how to do that? So first, uh, the prerequisite is like we need to have a data set and table. So data set is nothing but a database. Okay, in RDBMS we say database, but in BigQuery we call it as data set. So here if you can see, like I created a data set as test and I created a table as dummy. It's a, it just has only one column. So I have a run query here. Let me run this. So if I run this, you can able to see just, just one record with one column, serial number, and it's a string column. I just inserted a value one. Fine. So now we have to do few things before we get into the Python part. Okay, just like that it won't work. So we have to uh, use, we have to do some kind of an admin related stuff. So because we are doing it in our, in our own account, we need this. But if you are in your company, in your organization, right, you are have a big query, but you are trying to, access it with python right so you have to connect with the bq admin and you have to get the access key and with that key you have to set that in the environmental path in your production mission or dev mission that also admins will do so once the key setup is done then you can able to do all your uh, python invocation uh, you can connect python with bigquery and you can read the data but i'll be showing you how to do that how your admin will be doing in the real time so the same thing i'll be showing you here so now what you have to do, just uh, click this and then you will be seeing something called IAM and admin. So this is where all this admin related stuff comes into picture. So here you have to create a service account. Okay, that is the first step. So even in the real time, in your production mission or in your dev mission, you have a BQ, you have to connect through some APIs means then you have to raise a request for creating a service account for your badge user, which you use to connect to your production box, the pseudo badge username. Right, so every company has their own production dev box and each of this production dev box has their own uh, username, right? Group username, right? Badge username. So for that, you have to create a service account and you have to get the keys from there. So the first step is creating a service account. Just click this service account. So when you click this service account, uh, you will be asking for create new service account. Just create it. You just give some name. So let me give dev. Okay. So now what? So the next thing what you have to do is create and continue. Okay. So here it is asking for the roles. So just click this and search for BigQuery. So we have to enable three roles. Okay. Fine. So BigQuery user. So this is BigQuery job user. And you have to add in another role. Big query data viewer so you have to add one more role which is bigquery user okay the first one so these three roles are needed for us to connect python or any other coding with bigquery okay so then continue and burn Okay, so if you can see here, like I created a dev service account, it, it is, it just gives some auto generated name like dev23, something like that. And uh, the important thing I'm into my project. So this is my project name first, my first project. And in this, my first project only, I have my BigQuery also. So that is, that is the one which you have to make sure that you are creating this uh, to the same project, which your BQ is also in the same project. Okay, now if you can see here, I have two service account, test503 is my old one, and I have a keys here, but for uh, dev23, I don't have a keys, right? So just click this, you have to create a key now. That's the next step. So now, if you can see here, like there is an option key, just click this, and you can see add key, create new key, and let it be JSON, just create it. So this will download a JSON file for you. Okay, see it's been getting downloaded. So just copy this file name. Okay, save it. That's it. 
so this json file is very important so if someone has this json file they can able to query your bq okay so that might not be your account so you are giving it to someone else they can able to see all the data from your bq so this is something that you have to keep it very securely so this is the key which admins used to set it in the environmental path of the machine in which you want this to be happened okay so even like we don't have the access for seeing the key and sometimes they may have a retention period for the key so they may like three months once they delete and put a new key and they will circulate it okay fine okay now let's get into the code so here if you can see i have imported a bigquery package so you have to install it you have to use pip install and bigquery or if you are using pycharm then you can go to uh, file settings and then add package and search for bigquery okay so the first one you have to install so once that is done uh, you have to install one more package called db hyphen d types because i am just using data frames finally to print the result so install this as well and then i have my key path here the one which we downloaded now right so this is the file which we downloaded now i am just creating an uh, bigquery client object with this line so only after creating this client object of your bigquery then only you can able to access all the sub functions whatever you have for bigquery so you can see here in line number 16 i'm accessing a method dot query right fine so now uh, i have my uh, query here select star from this is my uh, project id of bigquery and then data set in bigquery and then dummy the table name so this is what you can see in the ua also yeah so let me go to bigquery again so i have my data set test and then let me open my query editor yeah so you can see the same thing so the project id data set and then the table name fine so now a uh, query job equal to i'm just client dot query i'm just passing my query here and then i'm just creating a data frame uh, so df equal to query job dot to data frame i'm converting the output to a data frame and then i'm just printing it so this is one way of getting the output or you are trying to do some iteration so you have to if you want to do some iteration you can just write a normal for loop and then you can print the row that's it so i'll show you both the outputs so let me run this code okay so you can see here so you can ignore the warnings so this is the output of df and this is the output of uh, the result set the plain print after the iteration okay so you can either use df or you can iterate and get the data so now the important thing here is uh, creating the service account and assigning the roles so don't forget to assign those three roles which i mentioned before so now the agent of the video has been completed so now with python you can access bigquery and you can do any data processing etls whatever it is and even you can do the same with uh, spark as well so i'll i'll make one more video or you can get the video from the playlist link of bigquery you can find that in the description box of this video where you can find spark with bigquery videos also and thanks for watching if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues so we do have lot of big data and other data engineering videos and codings in my channel just have a look and the data tech is my instagram page please do follow there for more short videos thanks